Hello. So today I'm going to be talking about how to put the saxophone together, the embouchure, and as well as getting your first note on the note B natural. So what I'm going to do is show you the case, what is inside of it, how to put it together, and go on from there. Alright, so now we are at the saxophone. Usually on most cases there's a symbol on it, or like this is a Yamaha case, so it's on this. It usually means it's the top of the case. So that means that you can just open it from here, open it up, and here is the saxophone. Right here we have the mouthpiece and the ligature with the case on top of it. We have the neck, and then we have the actual horn itself. So the other parts of a saxophone that you need to play is a reed that we'll put on the mouthpiece and a neck strap. The neck strap's really helpful when it comes to handling the weight, especially if like the horn is bigger than the student or if they have if they're having a hard time grasping it. So what I like to do first when putting together the saxophone is just putting on the neck strap to begin with. So that's one part of the saxophone. So Next, we're going to put the reed on the mouthpiece. Alright, so what I have here is the mouthpiece and the cover, and I also have a reed with me. So what we're going to do is get the reed wet, so you're going to put it in your mouth, get the saliva on it, <laughs> and then this right here is the ligature and this is the mouthpiece so the reed's going to go in between this this and this so we have this a nice wet mouth uh, reed and then you're going to put it on here but be careful because the reed is very very um really fragile it can it can crack it can break really easily so you're going to want to put it on like this and you want to make sure it's even. Try to use your, your eye judgment on it. Um, a, a little tip is if you're not very used to the, the strength of the mouthpiece yet, you could, the, the farther down you have it, the, the less resistance it's going to have. But make sure to, to not put it too low because then it, become, it can become hard to get a, uh, a good sound out of it. So you're just going to have to kind of play with it on your own. Try to use your eye and use what you feel when you play it. So you're going to try to make it as even as possible and you're going to turn these to the right. So you're going to turn it forward if that makes sense. Go in like that. Make sure it's nice and snug. And you do this. So without getting everything together yet, let's just play with this. So you're going to put your mouth around it and then you're gonna try to bring the corners in as tight as you can. So you have it like this. So like this would be like really loose. Then this would be together. So now that we have the armature set, let's bring the neck out. So we're gonna put this on here like so. And you're gonna twist it. Be careful with the reed, because you don't wanna you don't wanna break the reed or get anything. But it's gonna take some force, so don't be scared of it. But try to be a little bit careful. So now that we have this, try to bring your chin down, and then you're gonna supply the air. So you're gonna try to focus the air. And you just try to play around with that. So bring it, bring the corners in. Bring the corners in and supply the air. So now that we have that sound, we can bring out the rest of the saxophone. Alright, so now that we have the mouthpiece and the neck of the saxophone, let's grab the actual saxophone itself 
and let's clip it on to the neck strap. So when you grab it, you can grab it from here, just any way that you can. Just try not to grab it by like the bell of the horn and go like this or anything like that. So what you're going to want to do is grab it from this side right here and bring it out. Alright, so we're going to grab the saxophone and there's going to be a little thing like that. So we're going to strap on our saxophone and do this. So now you can take your hands off of it. Pretty cool. So you're also going to want to pay attention to this part right here. So you're going to want to loosen it because if you don't, you're never going to be able to get that neck on. So loosen it and then you're going to want it. You're going to want this piece right here. You're going to want this piece to line up in the middle like this yeah so you got this in the middle of this because later when you press this it lifts it up so we gotta make it even so let's make you're gonna so once you hold the saxophone you're gonna want to put your thumb under here like so and then rest your other thumb so on the two black spots that's where we're going to put our thumbs. So for this first note that I'm going to teach you, we only need, oh, my bad. We, we only need this finger, nothing else. So we're going to get the reed nice and wet so it's not super dry. Get it wet. Bring the corners in like so. Bring the chin in or down. And then you're going to supply the air while pressing on here. And then you can get comfortable doing that. And then if you can just take your finger off and on if you want. Stuff to like that. But this is a B. Keep on supplying the, the 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 stream of air while bringing the corners in. So now what we're gonna do is take the saxophone apart. So the reed should come in a little plastic thing like this. You're gonna loosen these these things right here. Bam, loosen those. Take this off. And then you'll be able to remove that without damaging the reed. So then you're gonna put it back in like this. And then bam, your reed is safe. So then we're gonna take this off. Boom. Put the ligature back on this thing with the screwies and then you put the case on boom so then you put that back in the case where you found it and then you're gonna loosen this be able to take that off make sure to be careful with it don't don't try to try to kind of slowly get it out ease it out you're going to tighten that back and put this back in the case where you found it. And then you put the horn away. So you're going to take your strap off and then you're going to put the horn back in where you found it with the horn facing this way. And then the last part, the neck strap. You put that and the reed back in there, and you close the case, and then you practice tomorrow.